everybody, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Etihad Stadium. And here for you today, Juventus against Arsenal. The home side, well, they're tottered their league. Meanwhile, today's visitors are sitting in eighth place in their league. They're passing it well here. Juventus on the attack. On to Podolski. On the bench. On the comeback trail, maybe. The midfield player who's been out injured recently. He wants to get back into the action and he's available today. Yeah, I mean, he is an important player. He's the linchpin of that midfield. So, uh, sensible, the manager. The last thing he wants is to put him on there from the start and he gets injured again. He slid in. Well executed. The attacker strong in this one-on-one -on -one situation. And here they come on the counter charge, Mirko Vucinic. Quick counter attack was on, but in the end, it came to nothing. He went in well, but he didn't get the ball cleanly. Javinho will just look at him go with his dribbling skills. Arsenal have the ball again. That's a throw. In he slides. That's a good pass. And the defending not really up to script. And it's a headed effort at goal. Well, he saved it. It's still in play. And the pass cut out at a truly vital time. A little bit of a slow start here from Arsenal. Now, here's a chance for it. There was a lot of speed and sharpness in that counter-attack, but it wasn't quite enough. Good ball, taking it well under pressure. He's in quickly there, crisply too. Arturo Vida. Asamoah. Vucinic. He's working hard to keep possession against the challenge. Jeff Shreves knows a thing or two about injuries. Jeff, what can you tell us about this one? Word from the benches that he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. And Jeff Shreves down on the touchline. Here's the cross. And in comes the header. Goal! Fantastic header! And that's one, certainly, for the description of Alan Smith. Getting up above his centre-half. He had no chance. Well, heading just like shooting is an art form that needs practice, and this boy seems to have done exactly that because that was an emphatic finish. The Juventus are ahead. And here is uh, Gibbs. And now a throw in. The official has indicated only one added minute. That will go out of play. You can see it clearly has done, and it's going to be his throw here. Defenders need to be on their toes now. certainly going to be within their range now that the free kick has been given and here's the header and it's in the header great goal i think he is as surprised as the rest of us the defender i think so i think he got a nosebleed he was so far up the pitch but he didn't panic did he oh what a thump eyes on the ball all the way the connection was absolutely perfect Corey gibbs is in possession now. So here we are at half-time, and it's 1-1. No sign, really, of which of these two sides is going to pull away. And they're both striving hard to do that with the number of shots that they've had. Yeah, and if it carries on like this, it might just be decided on which goalkeeper's in the better for. Diaby. I do think this team are clever when they do attack, just like this. They're playing well. And here's a chance for Arsenal. The referee not to worried about this, he's taking his time, he's quite entitled to do that. He is Rodolfo Costinha. What we've got here is an informed striker, and that will spell great peril, I think, to the opposition. Yeah, I think they'll be fearful of him, and I'm sure his name would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand. He's the main threat. It goes in with a slide tackle. Play building up nicely now. Came in with a challenge. Breaking up that attack, the interception by Diaby. 
the interception just in time. And here's a chance for Arsenal. Seen the chance? It was a chance, and boy, does he need a goal. Well, he just hoped that he could get another one before this match is through and do better. Well, we're still level here, and we're going to have a substitution. Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? Arsenal giving away the free kick here. Bit of bluff and double bluff at the free kick. It's another good effort. The team really battling to take the lead. At the moment, it's still all square. Kamala. In quickly. Diaby. This is a great chance for him. Sliding in, he didn't get the man. He got... Well, the break could have happened, really, for them. They've lost possession now, and the defenders are back in control. I'm pretty relieved about it. Vucinic. Asamoah. Needs some defensive discipline at the moment. Brilliant. Here's the shot. There's the goal to put them in front. Look again at this wonderful piece of interplay by the attacking side. A great goal. Yeah, and I think they caught the opposition unawares there. They were a little bit caught on the back foot. Took advantage. Well, now it's 2-1. Xavi. It's gone out for a throw-in. Possibly a booking this. Well, that incident's been assessed by the referee, and he's shown the yellow card to the Juventus man. Yeah, a bit harsh, but uh, there's no complaints. Well, here they are on the attack again. Good pass. What a chance hit. He's whipped it off the toes of the attacker. A well, wonderful old-fashioned goalkeeper in many ways. Boom. It's a throw-in, and a chance to keep going forward. And Arsenal are going to bring on some fresh legs. Podolski. That's a great chance. Oh, it has to be. Running out of time. Oh, he's going to shoot now. Oh, the break could be on here, and there could be a chance. He's found his teammate. Bravely in for the header. It's one of the great sights of the game, a quick counter-attack. We've had one here, and it just, just failed to produce a goal. Yeah, I mean, you've got to give them credit for the way that they did create the chance. And uh, if they can keep up that kind of tempo, then the way they move the ball forward, it's, uh, it's going to be positive for them. Arteta. Good ball. Loose play, really, to squander possession. Quick ball. They're both fighting for the ball here. He's gone for the challenge with a bit of panic written over his face then. And we're looking at the referee, and there goes the final whistle. And the match is finished here, 2-1. No extravagant celebrations at the end, you wouldn't expect that after a friendly, but they've enjoyed their workout and they've played pretty well. They did play well, they knocked the ball about with uh, a lot of uh, confidence, I'd say, and they look like a team that uh, know each other. Well, the friendly game has finished. It's a good contest, really. Hope you've enjoyed it.